Did he just wink? I didn't even know we could do that. I just looked for the buttons, but then one time, it was your nipples. Should we break both ankles or just one? I'm sorry, that was weird. In the movie, I play Cottontail, who is one of a set of triplets, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. Uh, and Cottontail represents the sort of loose cannon. She is uh, a little bit mental. Uh, Will sort of base the characters on us, so she's a bit scruffy around the edges. Um, she's awesome. Well, luckily, I was so thrilled to just be part of the story because um, I think I had a call about it before I read the script and then I just thought, oh my God, the script is brilliant and so, so funny. So I sort of didn't think about it in terms of old fashioned or fresh and new or anything. I just thought, oh, this will be great and appeal to people of all ages for a number of reasons. Either they're coming back to it because they love Beatrix Potter and they want to see a different incarnation on screen or it's um, a family who just fancy a cinema trip to something really fun. Fans of the book will recognize characters they remember, but with, you know, like Beatrix Potter is, is uh, books, beautiful handwritten drawings. And this is uh, an animated film with, with mental animals. So there is, um, people will remember them, but obviously with their own twist. The film takes place in modern day, but it has all of the characters we know and love, just obviously with a little update for today. The sisters are integral to Peter's success for the garden. Uh, they're all sidekicks, they all love each other very, very much, and they all argue hilariously uh, along the way. And they each play a vital role in reclaiming it. Yeah, it's actually a bit confusing. Oh, I just said that. You went into his garden? Everything's upside down. Peter Rabbit is awesome because, especially in this film, he's, he's, James Corden plays him and he's so funny, of course, but he's doing the wrong thing, but he really means well. I think he's, he's really a good guy. He, he's, um, you know, he's the hero of the story, but he's just not the most predictable hero. And that makes him fun to watch. It's based on the original Beatrix Potter stories, um, only more through a modern lens. And Peter and his family get into some trouble with this local farmer, Old McGregor. And then they take over his farm and everything's going great. And when suddenly Mr. McGregor's nephew shows up and he just ruins everything. This film is just so funny. I mean, it has the 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 classic magical setting that that I loved about the Beatrix Potter stories, but it's so funny and it's so fun. It's so alive, and um, that's what I love about this film. It's just I don't stop laughing. I, I it's really hard to do my lines in the recording studio because I'm trying not to laugh at everyone else's on screen. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail are definitely Peter's little sidekicks and they want to get into the garden as much as Peter does, but they're also there to remind him when he's pushing things a little too far, uh, which is probably a good thing. Will's done an amazing thing with this film. It's, it, it, it's a giant adventure story. It's so, so funny, um, but it has a lot of heart. And at the core, it is about being there for your family and the people that you love. Didn't you try to eat me? Show me your teeth. <sighs> it was you! I knew it! How are you? So good to see you. No guts, no glory. Got rid of him. Who's hungry? Bite into those guys.
There's so many Peter Rabbit stories. So it, I, I don't know that it's the story is timeless. I think the character is timeless and what he stands for. He's just a, he's a classic underdog, you know? He's a rascal, he's mischievous, he thinks he has power and ability beyond what's in him, as all young people do, really. Um, he's a leader and, uh, and he has this confidence and he's got this, uh, this zest for life. And he doesn't say why, he says why not, you know? And it makes him such a, a classic character to love. I think it's his sweet and adorable nature that allows him to get away with so much mischief. He looks so harmless. He looks so uh, just cuddly and you want to just, you know, cuddle him up and then it's that that gives him the ability to be a rascal, really, you know. Um, but it's that little bit of mischief. It's that, it's that little, it's that quality within him that makes him this lovable character. Because you're sort of constantly going, oh, no. Oh, no, he's done that, you know. And, uh, and I think a lot of that, the, a lot of the charm is just in the notion that you sort of can't help but smile when you see him. Flopsy, Mopsy and Contel are Peter's sidekicks, really. Um, they're his family, and I think it weighs quite heavily on Peter's shoulders that, that, that he has to look after them. And uh, they want to go in the garden just as much as Peter does. Um, but they, they have a much better um, radar, if you like, for when things could go wrong. So they, they're there to tell him and remind him when he might be pushing things a little too far. It's an adventure story, really, you know. Um, but the thing I love most about the film is it's, it's got a lot of heart. Um, and it's, it's about lessons that you'll learn in life and that, that you will learn more from your mistakes than you ever will from your um, successes, I guess. And at its core, it's about being there for your family and the ones that you love. And that's ultimately what is at the core of the film. I think you can't mess with Peter's look, really. Blue jacket, no pants. It's bold. Shh, I can read lips. I think you'll find the elephants around here are really flatulent. Yeah, but coming from the oldest, it just kind of means more. Mopsy is the eldest of the triplets. She is a little bossy, but she's smart, and she's pretty feisty, and she's also very adorable. I think that Beatrix Potter's stories have lasted the test of time because the characters are so beautiful and genuine and and charming and funny and mischievous and I think that that kids have always been able to project themselves into those characters and I think that the lessons that the stories teach are are also timeless they're about love and about family and about community and about about growing together and achieving something and I think that that's a really timeless important, beautiful message. I think that these characters are so lovable because they're adorable, but also because they have flaws that we can relate to, and then we get to watch them learn and grow wiser and, and overcome these flaws, and I think that that's what makes these stories so special. I know that for me, reading the books as a child and having them read to me, the illustrations were so 
important and so magical. And I just remember the farmyard and the vegetable patch and the rabbit den. And I just remember as a child wanting to jump straight into those beautiful watercolor paintings. And I think they're so iconic. So it's so beautiful to see them brought to life in this film for a whole new generation. Peter Rabbit is an adventure story, but it's also really, really funny. And it has a lot of heart because I think at its core, it's really about being there for your family and for the ones that you love. He thinks it's his right to break into the garden and take whatever he wants. And um, Old McGregor disagreed with that. And uh, my character, Thomas McGregor, uh, also disagrees with that. Uh, and so um, each man has set out in their own individual way to try and uh, stop Peter. I really trust what he's doing with the film. Like I, I think he really understands. Of course he does. Um, what he wants the film to be and I think you have to have a lot of trust in the director in a film like this because so much of it is happening in post because they're doing so much with the rabbits afterwards uh, and I really do I think he's really funny and he's always got funny ideas and he always knows how to change it up it's your normal battle between two men over um, a woman who's probably better than both of them except for the woman and this is hilarious and one of the men is a rabbit She's lovely and she's kind and she's caring and she sees that he's strange but doesn't treat him any... Any other woman he seems to have shown interest in is just put off by him immediately, by his uptightness, whereas she kind of finds it, I think, it seems to find it kind of funny. And she's relaxed enough for two, it seems, so um, I think that's why they may end up being a good fit. Hey, it's Gigi Hadid. For more videos like this, click here. Hi, I'm Cara Delevingne. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Boop. Thanks for watching.